I'm sure the other dude. Courage, the Chinese Zerg play. He's very good. He even managed to defeat Jim a couple of times. Anyway, guys, the final series of this group is live. But once more, show some love to Desero, twitter.com slash Desero Fighting. And of course, show your uh, happy tweets to Major as well, twitter.com slash Major underscore SC2. Even though Major is not the big biggest tweeter these days. And Major can be a little mean, but at the end of the day, Juanito is a fantastic Terran player who deserves all the love and encouraging words. And you know, I finally figured out the word I was looking for as well as I checked Twitter myself in the break. And Paolo, I was just looking for the word submissions. Why didn't you help me out, brother? I, I st um, I'm a little bit astounded that that was the word you were looking for. Yeah, well, um, why didn't you bring it up then if it was so easy? It seemed a little bit too easy. It's like, <laughs> how was it submissions? You, you, you didn't actually ask for it. I don't know. It's like It seems like you would say that if it was a contest of sorts. Yeah, well, no, p me, p people submitted their pictures, but you came out like, sweet pics, <laughs> question mark, genius, you know. Well, you were like, you were like, for people that send me their, yeah. how do you say when they send a picture on Twitter? And you're like, well, tweet pics? Well, yeah, <laughs> like submissions, really? Yeah, like they submitted stuff. I was trying to go there. You, you Just... were being a, a little bit more specific than that. I, you, were, I... you were like pictures on Twitter. So are, are you suggesting that I was avoiding the word submissions? Are you, are you suggesting that the word submissions is limited to Twitter pictures? No, but I, I think, you know, I'm going to watch the VOD to see how I described it. I know I described it very complicated, but if people out there <laughs> were able to figure it out, then I, you know, I kind of expected you to help me out on this one, brother. You're right. Um, <laughs> I have failed you, Ken. Anyways, let's focus on this awesome TVP that's on our hand. It's going to be the last best of three that I will cast today. So after this, it's going to be Greetorp taking over. But over here on the left top side of the map, we got EG's very own, the Muslim. I know, I kind of, I, I let you down on that one, I'm sorry. Yeah, and we, we already... Let's just do it again. Let's, nothing happened. Okay, well, yeah, let's do it again. Nothing happened. Over here on the left top side of the map. Little is known about this mysterious, handsome Terran player. Some call him Ben, some call him the Baker, some call him the Devil Terran. But for now, he's just EG's the Muslim. I, I think you, you overdid yourself again, Paolo. You're raising the bar for yourself. You're making this very hard, man. Soon you're not able to compete with yourself anymore because you're just too good. Oh, that would be a problem. <laughs> and over, you can you can just go ahead and solo Zootop, the introduction. And on the bottom right hand corner as the red Protoss, he's been playing a lot today because he's been winning and using his Mothership Core and losing with his Mothership Core. And it seems like his Mothership Core determines whether he wins or loses. And his name is Zootop. I think he did good. I loved it. Uh, I think it was okay. It was a command center first over here on the left top side of the map for EEG's the Muslim who started off the day beating Zootop with a 2-1 score. Uh, he pulled SVs in the second game on Belcher, didn't go his way. Uh, he lost the TVT series 2 to nothing against Juanito. But he's back and he still wants to make it through the group. It's still $200 on the line, some WCS points which could carry over. And of course in the current system they would re-qualify for WCS. It is definitely possible and some even say likely that WCS is going to change a little bit next year. But if the Muslim makes it out of the group, uh, those efforts will definitely not go up in vain as there will definitely be a reward for that. Ain't that right? I sure hope so. <laughs> I hope so too for the Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, I hope so for myself, because I've been saying this for weeks and I've been motivating everyone to play Challenger. <laughs> <laughs> so, if they all did it for nothing, then I'm going to be in trouble, man. I just created 12 enemies. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty funny. No, that would be terrible. No, I'm sure that uh, I can guarantee you, almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> <laughs> that it won't be for nothing. Uh, it's a two factory, uh, I mean, a two racks follow up, of course, for. And Ben over here on the left top side of the map after his command center first and uh, Factory already going down so he's not going to wait a long time, just want to tr try to get stimmed bio out ASAP. And so far from Zootop everything is kind of similar to what we saw him do earlier today. This is kind of like how State likes to open man. State goes like Robo Forge and then four observers and then a bunch of gateway units into Charge and Storm. Do you think that he's going to... I really like that. Um, you really I re like I re it? I really like the observers. 
I don't know. Whenever, whenever I see like state play TVP or mm -hmm. TVT, it seems like it seems like he knows what's going on. Yeah, well, and, uh, I mean, if you make four observers, you better know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you might as well just stop and not make any observers. Do you not like the observers? No, I, I like the build, but what I do not think is that like it puts you in such a passive position for a long time. I think it's a little too safe. You know, in the old days, I kind of played like this as well. I made three observers myself. Uh, I think four is really crazy, and I understand it. I think it's awesome to play PvT once you have vision, and you won't take too much damage. But then, for instance, look at Deer against Meru on like that Belcher game. He had like a single observer and he barely took any damage. So just imagine the same build, but then instead of making four observers, you're able to do it with one or two. Isn't that a little better? Uh, well, yeah, obviously. I mean, if you hacked, it would be better as well, right? But information is valuable. So of, of course. But I do feel like if you take a look at the build right now from top, okay, he's making. Uh, Wow, he's going up to seven gates before... Okay, that's the temple archives. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense. Probably gonna start researching charge ASAP. Give me charge, give me charge. He's top, I know you want to charge. Okay, he's not gonna research charge. He's gonna go with armor first. Yeah, he doesn't seem to have all that much. No. I think he should have should have skipped an observer too. <laughs> 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 well, he's gonna wipe in a bunch of zealots. No charges on the way, so these force fields and photon overcharge better be good. He's gonna try to buy time on the other side of the map with the warp prism. The Muslim is going to avoid this for now. But force fields are not going to land. Man, he's is he he's that can do this without charts. That's ambitious. Yeah, the Immortal popped out at just the right time. The Muslim can't really do anything until the photon overcharge is done, I think. That's and, true. And uh, there's but another one available. A big drop in the main base. But look at this position now as well. The Muslim has so much map control. A third command center is on the way. And all that, like, top has is, you know, he, he's going to be able to get Storm in the near future. Yes, he has great map vision. This missile turret is able to uh, scare away the war prism. Two Zealots are definitely going to mess things up a little bit over here, but shouldn't be too bad for the Muslim. Yeah, nice focus firing on the SUVs for a little bit there. And uh, the Muslim is now, I just guess, gonna break the rocks. Not even, just checking for a third. And I think that's what Top would like, breaking the rocks. So the Muslim is not gonna do that just yet. Okay. I mean, and, uh, uh, normally he should have already taken care of these rocks, though. That's something that uh, he probably wants to think about in the near future. But look how forced defensive Top is going to be for a long time. Worker count shows us 50 probes, which is, you know, a little more than he needs if he wanted to go for a two base all-in, which is possible, of course, you know, with plus two armor, a couple of Archons, Storm, and charge loads. It's something that's popular among a lot of Protoss players, but uh, now he's going back to probes again as well, so it's likely that he still wants to go up to three bases, and, you know, the most, the, the most important thing for the Muslim is not really lose too many units now. He's going to have a massive economic advantage once his orbital kicks in, so all he needs to do is, do is survive for a certain while, and for a certain phase in the game, and he's going to be fine. Yeah, I really like the factory as well by the Muslim, I kind of it. identifying that uh, Sutop is in a defensive position and being like, all right, you, you seem like you want to take a third, well, I'll just make sure it's later than you want it to be. I think that if the Muslim would have picked up after the photon overcharge where it was dropped in the main and he would have gone in that phase when uh, Zutov had so little units, I think he would have been able to do quite a bit with uh, a little bit of drop action here and there, but unfortunately that was not the case. Top is still going to be annoying with his white prism on the other side of the map. Oh, Storm drops as well! Breaks a couple of mules and this one Zealot is actually super important because he's going to be able to clean up the additional SUVs. Nice drop yeah. here by Zutov, I love it. This is a good play. Yeah, five, five kills on that, so might get six. Uh, nope, just five. He's still going to fight an uh, economic uphill battle, though, against Triple Orbital. Okay, now the third Nexus is going oh down. Oh my god, he, so many salts have died to rocks today. Really? Yeah, just well, just one. Right oh. <laughs> I thought I just missed something, like five High Templars <laughs> and three Zealots got crushed the entire game. <laughs> you scared me there, Paolo. No, it was just one. Big drop over here uh, by the Muslim. He see oh well, these observers are going to identify this. Couple of uh, high templars, and there's a cannon here as well. I love how Top is playing this. It's kind of like how I love to play PVT as well. But I felt he oh storm no oh nice pick up by the Muslim actually. Yep, the Muslim is going to try to drop this third base. The feedbacks could land, and he will land the feedbacks. Drops two feedbacks immediately. Big zealot warp in. Fighting is going down in the middle of the map as well. But let's keep a look at this drop. It seems like Top will be able to keep this base alive for now. Good play. Yeah, and uh, I think he could have. He might have actually killed the other medevac if he had feedback the other medevac. He killed one of them almost yeah. instantly. Or instantly. 
Oh, oh, he did not pay attention to this High Templar and this cannon because he was uh, paying attention to these fights in the middle of the map. He is harassing on the other side as well, but there is a bunker taking care of that zealot harassment. So it seems like the Muslim has found a small opening, but Photon Overcharge is casted. Feedback lands and a storm as well from the low ground from downtown. I love it. The LeBron James yeah. High Templar. Yeah, uh, Sutop did kill a few SCVs, but the Muslims ha has been so good at producing SCVs. Mm -hmm. Even against Major, it seemed like Major was doing more damage than the Muslim does. Uh, was doing, but the Muslim, even then, he managed to stay ahead in the SCV count. Uh, this seems like a similar scenario, because a few storms and uh, good harassment from on top on the mineral lines of the Muslim, but the Muslim uh, has been keeping up pretty well on, on the economy, and uh, plus meals, he's, he's obviously going to pull even further ahead. The Muslim is going to take out his own rocks as this fourth command center is going to go down as well, and he doesn't want to worry about... Uh, zealot bomb buys, and this is actually a small thing, but this is super annoying for Protoss on this map because if you have a pylon over here, you can't really harass that fort base um, because oh, you, you're gonna have to send them all the way via the natural, and it's hard to actually take out these rocks. There are a couple of ghosts on the map, feedbacks would oh, be massive! Wow, nice storm. No, I, w I really would think feedbacks would be way better in that scenario, don't you think so? On the metavax? Metavax, of course. Like, uh, I wasn't sure, were they in range? Yes, they were, they were ahead of the army. I then, mean, the storms yeah. were good, it was definitely some damage, but I think 2-3 feedbacks are guaranteed kills, and I think that would have been even better. There are 4-5 ghosts out now on the map. I think if the Muslim lands an EMP on these units, he is able to take a fight now, even though uh, a lot of Zealots are making their way across the map as well. Upgrade show us, the Muslim is at 2-2, and 0-3 for top, wow. Yeah, and uh... I mean... The what what, what, what does that mean? Who, who do you think has the better upgrades? Uh, the Muslim, because I mean that's basically f uh, 4 against 3. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, mathematically, but but, but still <laughs> like uh, it seems uh, the, the, the shields are better for Protoss, right? The, the armor. Mm, yeah, I know where you're going with this, but I still think it's okay for the Muslim. 2-2 two, two against 0-3 is not bad. Zealot uh, warping in the main base at the same time. Oh my god, the ghosts are so exposed! Force fields nice will go versus. down, that's so sick. The sickest ghost trap that I've seen in a long time as well. And the Muslim with a big mistake there. Yeah, and all, all the high tempers re, uh, retain their energy there, which is really important. But the Muslim doing a really good job of not getting all of his tough storm. Uh, because that could spell the end for him. A lot of money for top. He's... Uh he lost the War Prism and he doesn't have any way to reinforce his army. That's why he's probably like hesitant about actually taking the fight or not. He is transitioning into Colossi behind this. That was the sick... I mean, yeah, I said a big mistake by the Muslim. I think it was obviously a mistake to forget about all of his ghosts. But I can't even blame him too much for it. Because I, I did not expect what I just saw. Force fields to go down in that phase. And trapping like six, seven ghosts. Sick play by Top. I'm loving it. Yeah, and it was just two force fields too. Um, yeah. That, that was pretty well done. I mean, if you know, if he had like five force fields to throw around, it mm. wouldn't be that hard. But uh, just the snap decision, top top seems to excel at snap decisions, which is crazy to think about. But he's even playing from China. Imagine what he could do with zero latency. Yeah, he, he would probably Ugh. he would probably do some pretty crazy stuff. You know, the unit loss resource tab was kind of even throughout the entire game, but after that goes pick off, <laughs> kind of snowball out of control. And man, all of those ghosts had so much energy as well that represented so many EMPs and so much of the Muslim strength. This third base is... Uh, I still find this... Uh, do we have pilots now? He still has no way to reinforce his army. Man, Top is just playing crazy, but he's doing a good job. These zealots are going to town. EMP is going down. Actually, there's no observer with None his army. Of the five. Oh None my of God, the five are there. <laughs> None of the five. There are three remaining, actually. <laughs> I mean, he's killing a ridiculous amount of SUVs, but he's going to lose most of these zealots as well. Uh, he also, there's no way to recall out, but does the Muslim have Vikings? He has five of them. Five Vikings against three Colossi. This is going to get hashtag dicey. I think maybe the Muslim can do it, but six wow. storms from the high ground. Wow, I didn't even know those were there. I don't know where come the storms. And uh, it's still a pretty close engagement. The yeah. Stalkers are going to die, so this Colossi are eventually going to fall. And uh, a, a pretty good trade, but I'm not sure for who. I guess that was pretty much <laughs> Because <laughs> the Muslim has the has the better economy, right? With the meals and whatnot. Sick quote. That was a pretty good trade. <laughs> I don't know for who. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that the Muslim doesn't have to worry too much about losing the SUVs. He still has 57 of them. 
Um, good move there by the Muslim to cloak those ghosts. And <laughs> funny to think, with all the observers that Zutop had, uh, he didn't have any of them. Good EMP on the Mothership Core as well. Six storms from the high ground, because if he wouldn't have landed those storms, that would have been a very one-sided fight. The Muslim would have steamed in and just killed everything. Now the Muslim had to be much more um, thoughtful about how he wanted to go at that. At the end of the day, I do feel the longer this game goes on, the better it's going to be for, for uh, Zutop as he's working on his plus three armor attack upgrade as well. He has Colossi, he even has Dark Templars now. They could definitely complicate things. The Muslim has been mining more for a certain phase in the game, so he's gonna mine out his main and natural a little quicker. Uh, his main is probably empty already. Yeah, at the same time though, Sutop did lose all the all the core units of his army, so he, yeah. he you know his army doesn't look quite as strong now. That's um, luckily true. for him he was he was a, he was working in Templars um, at his third. And he wasn't yeah. really using them, so now he has a, a nice bank of uh, of Templars. I think that there is no window for of opportunity for the Muslim to you know to uh, capitalize on the fact that he just picked off pretty much every single important unit from Top's army. He can't really run across the map. By the time he does that, the gateways uh, are going to slaughter him and one or two colossi that pop as well. So the Muslim was forced to wait, and I feel if it's going to be max out against max out, well, it's definitely possible that the Muslim is going to win because uh, if it like. I think late game it's always good for Protoss. I think super late game, I kind of like Terran when they only have like 20 to 25 SUVs and it's like mass ghost Viking. I think Terran can definitely pick favorable engagements. But I, a lot of Terran players disagree with me on that one. But I think super, super late game if they don't need the SUVs anymore, I kind of like Terran again. Yeah, and you know, uh, the Muslim doesn't really play, like uh, most Terrans would play a lot more Marine heavy. The Muslim for the main, for the main, uh, for the for the most part, really likes his marauders, um, and and Sutop is really heavy on stalkers and colossi. I yeah. I was watching the Muslim stream like maybe a year ago, and I heard him talking about how he likes marauders and and because they can kite so much more easily and they don't die as easily to storms. So it it might be a little bit less DPS, but uh, you know he likes it and and, and it works for him. So. I think it's a good choice as well. I would love to see him uh, float over his orbital in a certain phase in the game as well, because I think it's going to take a long time for him to secure a fifth base. Otherwise, he might want a planetary there, though. But regardless, you know, the Muslim's army is pretty scary, and there are 12 stalkers in his army of top, which, you know, yeah, okay, to deal with the Vikings, maybe, but I don't think they're going to be that amazing. Uh, all the Zealots, they can be good, but if they don't engage properly, it's all going to come down to the EMPs. There. The Viking numbers are okay, though. Yeah, that first storm didn't hit much, but uh, Stalker's in great position. Although so it's charging, I'm, I'm, I almost feel like he should have committed a little bit, bit more there. Yep, I think so too, because uh, now he's going to lose a lot regardless. One, new Colossi enters the fray, but a couple of Vikings are still alive. I think this is a fight that the Muslim can win. There's a big Zealot warp in behind this. This Colossi has to fall. New storms coming in as well. Oh, sweet oh, Jesus. Nice storm. Sweet baby Jesus. Another really good storm. The ghosts are cleaning and, uh, up everything behind this, though. The Muslim is still going to win the fight, despite those oh, additional wow. storms. Sick fight from the Muslim. Yeah, pretty crazy ghosts. I didn't even know they were still alive, and all of a sudden they killed everything. <laughs> but they're all out of energy now as well, so once more I feel that the Muslim... Well... I mean, with 13 Marauder stands... Uh, Who was hard. that trade good for? <laughs> well, th I think this was a very good trade, but I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. <laughs> no. Uh, I think this was pretty even, uh, Paolo. This is almost as even as you're going to get it. The Muslim has a small advantage now, but he doesn't have the medevac count and the ghost count to run across the map and win. Um, See, that's, that's exactly what I was trying to say <laughs> in the, in the previous trade. <laughs> I, I meant, I meant it's, it, it was a pretty even trade. I'm not sure who came out ahead. Yeah, okay, I, I misworded it. <laughs> but if I have to pick a side, uh, definitely the last fight was in favor of the Muslim as he was able to keep his ghost alive. And those ghosts are so expensive and he's not that rich anymore. As you know, yes, he's been on four base for a long time, but he's going to mine out. Um, the natural is completely mined out already, actually. And even this third base is running a little thin. So the Muslim really needs to secure an additional base. He knows it. Uh, he doesn't know about this fifth base attempt of Zootop just yet. Man, what a great entertaining TVP over here on Eklon. Don't you think so, Paolo? Uh, yeah, absolutely. That, that last fight was actually amazing. Um, Zootop, I felt like he should have engaged earlier and then he didn't. And then he backed and he lost a lot of stuff. I, I was almost certain that the Muslim was going to take that convincingly. He did, did end up taking the fight, uh, but Zootop had great storms popping out of nowhere. And, uh, you know, it was a great trade. And here we are at a pretty much even game. Eight Vikings. Uh, Vikings do have plus two air weapons, so that definitely helps out a little bit. With a few additional Vikings, this is definitely a fight that the Muslim can take. If he throws down scans all the time, and if he lands the EMPs that he's looking for, he will be forced to first EMP the Archons and then hopefully connect with these High Templars. 
it is definitely a doable um, situ scenario, situation for the Muslim, but a far from easy one. Yeah, absolutely. Nice positioning for Sutop, uh, moving the Vikings to the side. And uh, no Blink Stalkers this time around, but the Argos oh. are going to do so much damage, and that's going to hurt for the Muslim. Oh, that was beautiful by Zutop. Good storms. A lot of storms are going to come in from below as well. These ghosts are perhaps a little too far uh, in the front. And with the Colossus still alive, the Muslim can't fight. Uh, he tried to make something happen with the Viking number that he had, but great storms there by Zutop, and perhaps the Muslim could have done a slightly better job in spreading out his Vikings. Yeah, it's almost like Sutop's uh, high tempers have cloak or something. They just pop out of nowhere and sort of stuff. <laughs> and uh, really nice monkey for the Muslim. And uh, yeah. Sutop gets CMP'd pretty badly. Army Supply shows us that it's 117 against 79, but for some, how, uh, some reason we're starting to feel that Zutop... All these high are clumped up. This is the Muslim's moment to EMP and kill them. Storms do land, but most of the girls will survive. And Top is in trouble, man. Okay, yeah. he has a lot of additional storms. That's a big zealot warp in. Never mind. Top is okay, man. Yeah, I, f I find <laughs> really funny that uh, that this game has been, you know, so so back and forth and kind of passive, and that they both uh, choose to to expand next to each other. So this game is not gonna last much longer. <laughs> which oh, is, they're which all is clumped just, up. Oh no! Six snipes, four out of five high templars go down immediately. The Muslim even picking up a couple of ghosts there. I thought maybe if he would fly in one here and, dro and drop an EMP, that would be just like the pimpest play of the year. But the high templar count is low now for top. He just wiped in four new yeah. ones, but he basically only has three high templars that uh, represent storms, and maybe a couple of them represent a double storm. Yeah, the Muslim uh, actually scanned that. I'm surprised he didn't go for it. Um, he has a lot of ghosts, and those are really, really, really good yeah. against solids as well. These ghosts are just not going to die anymore in a certain phase of the game. There are Viking numbers, 14 Vikings against two Colossus. That should be enough. 14 ghosts against seven High Templars. That should be enough not to eat storms. Here we have this moment, by the way, why it's so important for the Muslim to take out these rocks. Uh, every Brothers player can attest to that. And Top knows it, man. Top needs time. The Muslim's army is stronger now. Scans go down. EMPs will land. Yeah, really nice spread on the High Templars this time around, though. They're all over the place, so uh, the Muslim a little bit hesitant to engage there. But this is not a position that either player can abandon. That's that's their most, yeah. that's their strongest space. So it's it's just kind of funny there. And these are gonna stay dancing. Whoever moves loses. I think the Muslim is okay. He's actually gonna send off a nice uh, portion of his bio army to deal with his run by, and he might eventually find that pylon as well. Uh, now Top is going to try to fight, but I don't think this is a moment where he can fight yet. 17 Vikings with plus 2 against 4 Colossi. One Viking, uh, one Colossi falls immediately. The second one goes down as well, and the third one solo in HP. Great fight so far for the Muslim. Yeah, but he's not using the Vikings anymore. Uh, Sutop's attack is so weird, it might work. Uh, you can uh, land the, the Vikings. Go down. I think the Muslim will be able to clean this up. All of these ghosts are still alive as well, and they are beefy, man. These ghosts won't fall. Big Zealot warp him, but he's gonna need some massive storms to land on this bio army. Yeah, not not the greatest storm there. It storms a lot of uh, Vikings, but uh, yeah, that was a pretty weird decision by Sutob. It was like, oh, I guess you picked off two of Michael Loss. I let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was more than that. I guess he already felt like he was into it. He's like, okay, he's sending units to deal with my run by. I let the run by die, and then I can fight with a bigger army than my opponent. But the Muslim didn't overcommit. He didn't send too many units back north, so he still had plenty left. <laughs> Dark Templar is going to try to make some there. I mean, Zutop is going to need some uh, magical storms over here. Yeah, and where are the High Templars? They're all the way in the back. It's not looking great for Zutop. Nice spread on the High Templars this time around, but we'll see if he can connect with those storms. Oh, oh nice that's one. a sick storm! Where did it even come from? I have no idea. But that was actually a devastating storm. More storms will land. Wow. Big Zealot warp in as well, and suddenly the Muslim lost most of his me? units. Oh my god, Zutop. This yeah. That, that was that was pretty insane. This time around, the ghosts were the ones that, that, that were low in energy. I'm not sure where when he warps in this high templars. It's like he always has a bank of uh, high templars, and now the Muslim losing this space uh, is in a really dicey position. Still has two cloaked ghosts over here. They might be able to pick up a couple of high templars, <laughs> but it's just a little too late. Top is going to win game number one of this uh, final series here in WCS America Challenger League Group E, uh, which was a fantastic game, Paolo. I, 